What's going on, Knucklehead? GKM Gaming here with another LEGO Legacy Heroes unboxed video for you. And today is the most spectacular event in LEGO Legacy history. We have the Ghost Hunting Master event. And first of all, I love that artwork. Looks amazing. Couldn't have done it better myself, Game Loft. Let's take a look at this stellar master event. So it is space units only. Which is great because I have enough to unlock ghosts, but sadly, and I didn't even really try to get my commander cold up to six stars. I knew I wasn't going to have a full six star team. I only managed to get Quincy to five. I didn't really want to whale on Quincy. I went relatively free to play. I think I used maybe one or two gem refreshes a day, but that was kind of just coming from my booster pass. Uh, so I got Quincy to five stars. I have commander cold to five stars gear seven. And obviously I have seven star Kelvin, Locust, and Reed going. So we're just gonna tear, we're gonna tear through the first, uh... Oh, you know what I gotta do, actually? While I have you, I forgot, I gotta level up my set. I'm gonna be using <coughs> the Spy Track, and I'm only gonna really be using it because that's my only real option in terms of a five star set. So I'm gonna max it out because why not and now we're gonna go we're gonna do it up All right this is the team i'm gonna be running with and i could probably just auto the first few battles the thing i really like about master events is you don't have to gold star them so it's the one thing in the game i guess brick expedition too although you have to get that uh that one event in brick expedition where you can't you have to gold star everything but this is the one thing where we really, we really don't have to gold star it so obviously this first battle you know we're facing level 25s i'm just gonna auto it uh if i were you guys and i was a level 25 player i would probably take out basil first and then maybe go for the attackers and then yorick but you know that's just me You know, you're going to see my team is really just going to tear through this right now. At least you get some cool Yorick animations. You know, the, the thing I don't like about space... So a lot of people like space, and they're saying, oh, they're they're countering Ninjago, and I get that. And, you know, the, space is good. Don't get me wrong. It's very underrated. Uh, but it's just not it right now without gens. They just, they don't really hit. So I like damage, and I like units that do a lot of damage. Which is why I think I'm going to like Ghost. I'm actually looking forward to seeing what his stats look like. I wish I could get him at 6 star. Uh, he might actually be a unit. I was actually going to consider using him. In, starting to use him instead of Lloyd. Uh, but we'll see how his stats turn out. I like Lloyd because he synergizes well with Master Wu. And you know I'm always going to use Wu. But the... Ooh, here's our first look at Ghost. This one is a level 32 star Ghost. So probably not going to be much of a threat. He's also going to work really well on a castle team. Uh, and I'm going to probably... I just got enough tiles to 5 star Magisto's Tower. But I don't have Willa. I've just started working on her. I've only got about 5 star Basil. I'm not, not even 6 star yet. Uh, but I have Jester Gogo -Go and Burnabas six seven star, and I have Magisto six star. I have Verda seven star, and I'm about to have Storm seven star. So I am going to really start considering running a Magisto's Tower team, especially now that Ghost is here. If he can hit and bring some damage to that King's Court trio, you you might have something pretty solid there. Uh, it's not the full magical synergy, so. I might want to run Master Wu with them too, because, you know, Master Wu is like Guile's theme. You know, he goes with everything. But we'll see what's going to happen with that Magisto's Tower team. I'm on the third note here. I didn't even really talk about the second note. I'm sorry. But again, these are just kind of run through nodes. You don't really need to be too strategic with these, uh, because. Honestly, if you can't get past these nodes, you're not going to unlock anyway. So the real, the important node is the fifth node. 
that's just is what it is. Cactus, anytime you see Cactus Girls, you know, that ain't it. You know you're not going to have trouble winning that battle. But, you know, my space team is... I got two gears, three gear sevens. I think, do I have Kelvin gear seven? I think my Kelvin is only gear six. So I have Captain Commander Cold and Locust gear seven. I just geared seven Locust instead of Hank because I have the same gear seven item. I chose the gear seven Locust over Hank. Even though I use Hank a little bit more in Arena, I chose Locust specifically because I want him to be as strong as possible for this event. Uh, also, I'm still having a lot of trouble with the Gorobel's Great Escape event with the Space Team. They just, they suck for that event. They, they just aren't great in uh, PvE. You know, I can see how they're more useful in PvP, but they really lack a lot of sustain to deal with difficult waves. Um, so I'm definitely concerned going into this. Yeah, I like that they've uh, they've worked the space guys into this. All right, this is the fourth one, and then we get to the unlock node. I do like that I've been picking up a lot of gold in this event, so you can't hate about that. And I actually have enough tiles to six star Dwayne, but I felt like Dwayne was kind of the odd man out on this team. And if I would have had Commander Cold to six, I would have at least attempted. Uh, Dwayne instead of Quincy for the sixth and final node. I'm very happy they put in a six node. I think that that should just be standard now that we're level 60. You should really give us, you know, five star unlocks obviously for master events, but give us that six node and make it so that if I am gear seven level 60, I can get it at six star. I shouldn't have to wait. Yeah, it's just, I wish that they, uh, they made it a little easier to get our space guys up. They definitely gave us enough time, but it's like, it, it's tough to expect that people are going to put their resources into a team they're really not going to use other than this event and a, a weekly event, which quite frankly, even with this team, as strong as they are, I'm still, I still can't get past a bronze on the second to last node and I don't even get it every time. I lose a lot on that node. Lacking Gorwell, it, it, you know, when you don't have healing, it's really difficult to do PVE. And that's why space is just not good for PVE. They don't have the healing. You know, people are talking about using, so just putting on Discord about using Quincy for a techie team as a healer, but because he does have good synergies, but it's just, he's great. And he's honestly would be great on the team but he's not filling your healer role very well. You know, it, it's like using Chef as your only healer. You're gonna be hurting for healing at that point. You, you know, you just are. And it also kind of stinks, you know, Jens wasn't available. All right, here's what we came here for. The Master Event Unlock. I ordered everything until now. I will be playing this one out myself. Did she just say sushi? I would love sushi right now. Okay, so you got a Lloyd, you got a Highwayman. And of course, because I'm not running Ice Station Odyssey, because it wasn't high enough star, I don't get to go first with Quincy, which level 45, man, this is, I, I think they get higher level as you go though. But still, I'm going to be really upset if this is not a challenge and I just had to uh, miss out on getting six star, which it looks like might be the case. Yeah, but you definitely you want to get rid of Lloyd first, unless you could, if you could outspeed Lloyd, you want to get the um, debuff immunity, the buff immunity onto Highwayman for sure, because you don't want him jumping on yourself. You really want to get rid of Highwayman as quickly as you possibly can. Let's taunt. 
And you know what? We're going to go for the damage reduction on Locust because on a space team, he is actually quite tanky. You know that. I, when are they going to do something with this zombie like so that he can get more revives? I would love to see a, a Necromancer fig, like a Dark Wizard, maybe from the collectible. It was actually when I was doing the custom units, I had it lined up. Um, I stopped doing the custom unit videos. It just, it, it wasn't getting, you know, some people liked it. it. I was just getting way better responses from my informational videos, my strategic videos, my free to play videos. It, it was just, I was getting better results out of those. So I figured I would put more time into those. I would like to go back to the custom units one day though, when I get a little more time. I would love to stun you, Master Wu. Because, you know, dealing with a Master Wu is never easy. Let's go with the big AoE. You know, I was hoping to face more spooky characters and less ninjas and spooky characters. Uh, ninjas, well, I guess if it's like Halloween. I guess Halloween is not just a spooky thing. People dress up as knights, uh, zombies ninjas all the time for Halloween. I'm actually wearing my Halloween costume right now because I dressed up for work. Technically at work right now, but I'm on break making this video. And I'm a kangaroo and I have a chihuahua who I'm using as my Joey. Uh, maybe I'll post that at the at the end of the video. Okay, he, he tanked that. Okay, so this is a, let's talk about ghost. This is a level 45 ghost, five star. And he just tanked a stun from a level 67 star read. Gear six. So I, I think it's fair to say, ghost is gonna be a fairly tanky attacker. So we're probably looking at a, uh, let's get, buff immunity on him. I guess that didn't work. We're probably looking at a fairly um, fairly tanky unit, like a like a Yeti type. But probably better than Yeti. I think he's already better than Yeti. Kind of, everybody's saying kind of reminds of Scarlet uh, because he has that when they go below half HP. He throws everyone under stealth, which is, I mean, it's just awesome. So again, I was actually considering running him Instead of Lloyd, now I have my 7-star Lloyd, which, you know, I get it. I'm not going to give up my Lloyd for no reason. But I might start running him. And again, I talked about how I want to run Ghost on Magisto's Tower. Yeah, this was really easy. And people were worried that this was going to be hard. I regret investing into gear sevening these space units. Well, now I don't because I do need to get them stronger to do uh, Gorwell's Great Escape. Boom, I'm gonna taunt, I'm gonna taunt just to flex. Just to end it with Commander Cold. And unfortunately, I do not have the units to do this next node. Oh, that stinks. I would have loved to have seen what that node looked like. Maybe I'll do a video on that node. Maybe I'll hit up Tipster and get that node from her right now. I don't know why I made you guys watch me get that achievement. And let's build him. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, so cool. Perfect. He is perfect. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's see what his speed is. 125 speed. So you're talking about he's relatively fast. From just looking at him in game, he looks like he's going to be relatively tanky. Uh, right now, it doesn't look that way. His defense is 9. So, but he's level 1. So I'm not, I'm not too torn up about that. Let me see what... what what is my level one Valiant? What's his defense? Okay, his defense is 11. So I think I think he's gonna be all right on defense. You know, I don't know his stats. I'll probably do a video of that. Get some uh, some of that good good 
from, actually, I'm going to probably level him up myself, so I'll be able to do a awesome video with him down the line. Well, that's pretty much all I got for you today, knuckleheads. Please remember to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, ding that little bell for some notifications, and as always, remember to knuckle